we start with planes. Before I start the planes, I told you about isometric scale. So how to construct the scale? We construct the scale to reduce all dimensions into iso dimensions. I draw a line BO horizontal. So this is my same reference with reference to the earlier figure what I have done. So draw a line BA inclined at 30 degrees to the horizontal and draw a line BP inclined at 45 degrees to the horizontal. So for example, on the BP line, I measure 10 millimeters, 20, 30, 40, 50 actual dimension. And if I draw verticals to the BA line, now this dimension is ISO of 10. The actual is 10 millimeter, ISO 10 is 8.15 millimeter. Actual 20. 0.85 into 20 is the ISO dimension. So to draw the isometric projection, I have to draw the isometric scale, reduce all dimensions into ISO dimensions, and I have to draw the figure. First problem, front view of a square is given. Front view of a square is given. I have to draw the isometric projection. The square of sides, 40 millimeter. So A, B, C, D, the four corners of the square, and side dimension is 40 millimeters. I have to draw the ISO projection. To draw the ISO projection, now we can view in two directions. Now, if I view in this direction, for me, reference is B, C. And whatever sides I draw in the figure, it has to be ISO dimension. Draw a horizontal reference line. Now BC is a vertical line. In ISO projection, vertical line remains vertical. This is 40 millimeter. I have taken 40 here. I have got the ISO 40. So take. I saw 40 and draw a vertical line. Take I saw 40 and draw a vertical line which is BC. So vertical line remains vertical. The horizontal lines will be inclined at 30 degrees to the horizontal. So draw a 30 degree line. DC is 40. So BC 40. I saw 40, measure the same dimension, I get DC, I saw 40. Then from D, draw a line parallel to BC. From B, draw a line parallel to CD. I get the point A, direction is as shown here. So a square front view in this direction appears like this in the isometric projection. This is actual 40 millimeter and this will be reduced 40 millimeter. 40 into 0.815 is this dimension in the isometric projection. I can also view the same square in this direction. So choice is yours. You can view in this direction or in this direction, only in the front view. So for me, if I view like this, my reference is AD. Now AD is 40. Direction is moving towards my right. So draw a vertical line, AD, which is ISO of 40. DZ is a horizontal line. And you know that a horizontal line will be inclined at 30 degrees to the horizontal. AD is ISO 40, take DC, ISO 40. From the point C, draw a parallel to AD. From the point A, draw a parallel to DC. I get the point B. So my direction of viewing will be same towards my right. So front view 
you can draw either in my left direction BC is my reference or in the right direction AD is the reference there are two conclusions you should be able to understand here when I draw the front view number one vertical line remains vertical vertical line remains vertical horizontal line will be inclined at 30 degrees to the horizontal so when I draw the front view vertical remains vertical horizontal will be inclined at 30 degrees to the horizontal next second problem the same square is given the same square is given which is the top view of a square so when I draw the top view of a square I require two references I, I see from here and if I see from here my top view references are point B and point D or if I view from here or from here my points of reference will be A and C so if I take B and D as the reference and I am drawing the top view draw a horizontal reference line my D is the top view reference point here so when I draw the top view there will be no vertical lines all lines will be inclined at 30 degrees to the horizontal so this will be a line inclined at 30 degrees to the horizontal and this will be a line inclined at 30 degrees to the horizontal so I draw two lines inclined at 30 degrees to the horizontal so AD is 40 I have the ISO of 40 so take ISO 40 step off from here from D on both the sides so this will be your point A and this will be your point C now from the point A draw a parallel to DC from the point C draw a parallel to AD I am going to get the point B if you check BD will be exactly a vertical line and AC will be exactly a horizontal line my direction so when I draw the top view there will be no vertical lines all lines will be inclined at 30 degrees to the horizontal to summarize if I draw the front view choice is yours you can view in this direction or this direction so don't do both so you do this or you do this front view vertical line remains vertical point number one second point horizontal lines will be inclined at 30 degrees to the horizontal if I am drawing a top view there will be no vertical lines all lines will be inclined at 30 degrees to the horizontal We have done two problems earlier wherein we have done a square front view and top view and you can also understand the two directions and you are able to draw the front view. We'll take the next problem rectangle. Now to draw the front view of a rectangle, I have the rectangle figure wherein two dimensions are there, 30 mm, 50 mm. I am drawing isometric projection, so I know the isometric scale. So take 30 mm get the ISO of 30 50 mm get the ISO of 50 front view you know you have two important points direction of viewing vertical line remains vertical actual 30 ISO of 30 so draw BC vertical line horizontal line will be inclined at 30 degrees to the horizontal so this will be ISO 50 from D draw a parallel to CB from A draw a parallel to CD I get the rectangle direction of viewing as I have shown in the figure the fourth problem is top view of a rectangle top view of a rectangle if it is top view you are aware that there will be no vertical lines all lines will be inclined at 30 degrees to the horizontal now direction of viewing I for the top view I have this position and from my left position so reference will be 
the points or I can view from A as well as from this point. So if I take point D as the reference point, now D as my reference, DA 30 degree line, DC 30 degree line, I saw 30, I saw 50, from A draw a parallel to DC, from B draw a parallel to AD, I get the rectangle. So front U, vertical line remains vertical, horizontal will be 30 to the horizontal, top view will be no vertical lines, all lines will be inclined at 30 degrees to the horizontal. And when you draw the rectangle, see in a square, the two points coincide, which is B and D points in the rectangle, these two will not coincide because the dimensions are different. Next problem, we take the triangle, equilateral triangle of side 40 mm. So I draw the front view first, next the top view. So triangle, if you see the figure, I have inclined lines. They are known as non-isometric lines. In the earlier concept I have told, an isometric line will be parallel to isometric axis. If it's a non-isometric line, they are non-parallel to isometric axis. I can't draw a non-isometric line directly. So in a triangle, I enclose this triangle in a rectangular box. So complete the rectangle. PQCB is a rectangle variant. The triangle is enclosed. To begin with, I first draw the isometric projection of the rectangle and then the triangle within the rectangle the direction now if I view in this direction from my left side reference is QC now I am drawing the front view so draw a horizontal reference now QC dimension I don't know because I enclose the triangle in a rectangle so construct this rectangle with your divider or compass measure QC Get the isometric of QC. Now take this isometric of QC and draw a vertical line, which is a construction line, lighter line. So this is actual QC. Get the iso of QC and draw a light line, which is a vertical line. Now BC is 40 millimeter. Get the iso of 40 and draw a line inclined at 30 degrees to the horizontal to get the point B. Then draw a vertical from the point B to the point Q, draw a line parallel to BC. I am going to get the point Q. So PQCB is the rectangle isometric projection what I have got. Within this figure I have to get the triangle and we know that this BC is same as this PC we have got. Next, measure PA, get ISO of PA from P towards Q, measure the point A. Now this is actual, I can't take actual here. So measure PA, ISO of PA, get the point A from P towards Q. Now, join AB join AC and join BC I get the triangle which is enclosed within the rectangle so when I draw the triangle isometric projection which is the front view to draw the non isometric line I go via isometric line so I can't locate this directly I go through the isometric locate the point and then get the triangle so which is the front view of a triangle. To draw the top view of a triangle, my reference Q, that is Q and B, so draw a horizontal line, take the reference point P, B, take the reference B. Now BP is a vertical line, so there will be no vertical in the top view. So take BP, which is same as CQ, I have got the ISO earlier, 
So draw a 30 degree line which is DP. Now BC is 40 millimeter. Get the ISO of 40 and draw a line BC. So DP and BC lines are 30 degrees equally tend to the horizontal. Next from B, it is from this point P, draw a parallel to BC. And from the point C, draw a parallel to PB. I am going to get the point Q. So PQ, PQCB is the rectangle what I have got. Now in this rectangle, I have to get the triangle. So BC is my reference. PA, I saw of PA from P towards Q measure point A. So from P towards Q measure point A. Now you join A to B and A to C. I get the rectangle. So if it is top view, no vertical lines. All lines are inclined at 30 to the horizontal. And this non-isometric line is obtained when I go through the isometric. So location of non-isometric is not direct, indirect to the isometric line. So we will draw the front view of a circle. The circle 55 is the diameter dimension is given. When we draw the circle, I enclose circle in a square box. So when we enclose the figure, the outer boundary is a light line. My objective is to draw a circle which is an ellipse in the isometric projection. Now this is a square because uh, these lines are tangential to the circle. Direction of viewing. Now if I view from my left direction, QR is the reference line. So QR is same as 50 mm. Get the ISO of 50. I am drawing the front view. So draw a line, light line. Draw a light line QR. I saw 50. RS is a horizontal line. And we know that in isometric uh, projection front view, horizontal lines will be inclined at 30 degrees to the horizontal. So draw a 30 degree line and measure QR same as RS from S draw a parallel to RQ from Q draw a parallel to SR I get PQRS direction of viewing is as shown in the problem so to draw the circle in isometric projection which is an ellipse I adopt four centers method so four centers method of drawing the ellipse within this square box. The procedure is initially draw very light lines. We have two diagonals PR and QS. Draw a line PS. That means I have joined the longer diagonal. Step number one, join the longer diagonal. From S, draw a line which bisects the the opposite side PQ. That means you are joining the midpoint of PQ with S. Similarly, locate the midpoint of SR and join with Q. All are construction lines. So one is point S which is the first center. Two is the point Q, second center. Now these two lines meets the longer diagonal at point 3 and at point 4. So these four points are centers. That's why known as four centers method of drawing the circle which is the ellipse. Step number one. S as center. S and this midpoint as radius. Draw an arc. You can make out stop this arc when it changes its direction. In both the sides, stop the arc when it changes the direction. So SR center, SR this midpoint radius, draw an arc. Similarly, 
Q as center, Q and this midpoint as radius, draw an arc. <coughs> Similarly, you stop at the point where the curve changes the direction. So Q as center, you can see that the curve is tangential to the sides, draw an arc. So you have drawn half of arcs. Now 3 as center, adjust your radius to these two points. Adjust the radius and complete the. Similarly, 4 as center, 4 as center, radius is this. So this method is known as 4 centers method. I will repeat once again. S point is center number 1, radius S and the midpoint of PQ, draw half arc. Q is second center, Q and the midpoint of SR, draw the half point arc. Longer diagonal 3 and 4 are the centers, center 3, complete this part, radius, center 4 radius, adjust with these two arcs, and complete. If you draw the top view of a circle, draw the reference line. Now, if I view from here, reference is point R. If R is my reference, opposite should be P. But if I view from here, S is my reference, opposite is Q. Now, R is the reference. RS is 50. So, I just repeat this once again. Draw a horizontal line. BO, BA at 30 degrees, BP at 45 degrees. I step off actual distances on the BP line and I draw verticals to obtain the ISO of the actual distances. So 50, I measure 50 here, get the ISO of 50 from R as reference, draw a 30 degree line, cut ISO 50 to your point yes. RQ, draw another 30 degree line, 30, ISO 50, ISO 50. Then complete the square with point S, draw a parallel to RQ. With point Q, draw a parallel to SR. I am going to get the point P. To obtain the ellipse, I the 4 centers method. Join the longer diagonal SQ. From point P, draw a line to obtain the construction to the midpoint of SR and from the point R, locate the midpoint of PQ and draw another construction line. So P is center number 1, R is center number 2 and these two lines will intersect the longer diagonal at point 3 at point 4. So the four centers method procedure is P or 1 as center, P and the midpoint of SR as radius, draw half arc. Draw the arc such that when it changes its direction, stop. From R as center, which is point 2, R and the midpoint of PQ as radius, obtain the other part of the arc. Point 3 as center, Adjust your compass to this radius and complete the arc. And point 4 as center, adjust your radius to this arc and complete. So with this, you can able to obtain the circle which is an ellipse in the top view.